Hi everyone, I am so excited for today's video because I have with me the new Sonia G Fusion Sheer Buffer Brush. Look at that! Isn't that so pretty? Now, I do have to say that this was actually gifted to me by Sonia G and Beautylish. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much guys. I truly appreciate it. And um, I was very excited with this because I actually use a lot of like, you know, buffing brushes. Like, you know, this type of a brush design um, when I am working. So when I saw that Sonia G was releasing something like this I was like oh my god I have to have that and here we are so um yeah so for today's vlog we will be getting to know this together now I haven't tried this yet so I'm just going to see how well this will fit into like you know my makeup routine and what type of products that I'm going to be using this for and of course because the name here on the brush says sheer buffer so what we're going to expect is this will apply a very sheer amount of color and you can actually build the intensity of whatever products that you're going to be using with this brush so first things first let's take a look and a deep dive into this brush and to the other brushes that i have in my collection which is comparable to the new sonya g fusion sheer buffer brush all right so this is the sonya g sheer buffer brush and as you guys can see, it still has this very beautiful handle design here. And the color is still very pretty and it's lacquered, of course, with the red here that fades into the black. And we have this very nice black ferrule here. And it's a little bit chubby here in this portion of the ferrule, by the way, in comparison of here in the base of the ferrule where it meets the handle of the brush. Now, this is as a rounded brush head design here. As you guys can see, there are no crimps in the ferrule here. And the bristle of the brush head here actually has a very nice snap back into position. Look at that, very pretty very beautiful now the bristles here are made in combination of synthetic fibers and sokoho goat hair now the synthetic fibers as you guys can see are these fibers here that juts out from the very tip of the sokoho goat hair so that's that now i do have to say is that on first try like you know when i was just like you know getting to know this brush the brush head here has some resistance as you guys can see here there's some strength in the belly here so we really need that especially if we're going to be using this with a lot of cream products in the future all right so this is how the sheer buffer from Sonya G looks like okay I'm gonna transfer inside because the Sun is burning my back now if there's one other brush that i would like to compare the sheer buffer to it's actually to the buffer pro brush here also from sonya g and the main reason why is because as you guys can see they're both very similar but also very different they're like sisters but a few siblings apart and if we just like you know press them side by side here we can actually see that the total length of the brush is actually almost the same from the tip of the ferrule here all the way to the base of the handle but the main difference that we see here of course is the brush head wherein this is made with pure psycho gold here very beautiful brush head and this one is made with sokoho and synthetic fibers now i also do have to say that like, you know just visually when i'm comparing these two is that from the tip of the ferrule here to the very tip of the brush head here the both brushes almost have the same length but they flare out very differently where in the buffer pro here flares inward while the sheer buffer here from Sonya G flares outward so that's the main difference but if we just put them in this position we can see that both have a very round brush head design and they almost flare out very similarly so let me just press them together look at that but the main difference that I can feel between these two brushes is in the density of the bristles of the brush head so so you guys can see that and I'm sure like you know as you guys can see when I'm just pressing the brush head here on my palm there's a certain strength that I feel here in the core of the brush of the sheer buffer but it's not a smooth kind of uh, resistance because um, that's the only thing that I, could, I could say what I love about the buffer pro here because there's a smooth kind of a resistance when you press the brush head all the way into your palm here well this one the sheer buffer there's a certain kind of a jerk 
that I can feel. Like, you know, there's a really, there's really some strength in the middle of it. And I really like that because you need, like, you know, a brush like this when you have, like, a combination of, like, you know, natural and synthetic fibers. Because, after all, we're going to be using this with a lot of cream products. So, you really need something that has, like, strength in it just to be able to move the product around on the face. Now, I couldn't talk about the sheer buffer brush from Sonia G if I wouldn't talk about my very old MAC 187 brush. Now, this one is a very old brush. Let's say this is maybe 15 years old, and this type of a brush is no longer in production because this is the one that was made in Japan. I don't know if you guys can see the stamping there, but um, they don't make this anymore because the new MAC 187 in the market is actually made of full synthetic brush heads, while the brush head here is a combination of synthetic and goat hair. Of course, it's dyed goat hair in black. So let me just show you guys the main difference that I see between these two. Of course, the handle designs are also very different. But I do have to say is that the natural bristle fibers that we see here, they almost have the same length from the tip of the ferrule here all the way to the tip of the natural bristle fibers. But the main difference that we see here is that the length of the synthetic fibers are very, very different wherein the fibers of Sonia G here is shorter, which is actually great because if there was one thing that I didn't like about this brush is that it didn't really give me enough control when I'm applying like, you know, cream or liquid foundations in the face. And it proved to be quite streaky. So I don't know yet if that's going to be the same case with the Sonia G because I haven't tried this on the face yet. So um, at least also um, in seeing the two difference here, um, the Sonia G brush for sure will give me more control because the fibers are shorter. And I can also say that the bristles are also very different because I can feel that Sonia G's sheer buffer brush here is more compact and there's more strength in the core of the brush head in comparison to this very old MAC 187. Because look at that. There's, see, you, there's really no control with the brush when you just like you know press it and you try to dance it around in the palm of your hand there's nothing there's no control whatsoever so like you know there have even been times that i would just like yeah use this to apply like you know some glittery powders on the body or on the neck because you don't need to have control when applying those types of powders but oh my god when i'm using this with like you know liquid foundations or cream foundations i would have to really work hard with it because there is no control in the brush head here look at that so see no no control at all nothing nothing in comparison to sonia g's as you guys can see the way the bristles of the brush here just like you know contract and it really helps you to be very specific with your application just basing on that when i'm just rolling it i'm sure you guys can see how the bristles of the brush here actually like you know form a very compact kind of a brush head uh yeah so i'm actually very happy that i have the sonia g sheer buffer because this has been like you know quietly sitting on my brush kit and i don't really reach out for it much anymore well also because of the fact that this is no longer in the market so if this actually like you know gets busted i can't have any replacement with it anymore so yeah now the other stippling brush that i have in my collection is from kuyudo and as you guys can see it's actually very different from the sheer buffer in terms of the brush head design here but if we just like you know zoom in a little bit to the bristles i don't actually know what type of um goat hair is used here for sure it's going to be undyed so coho goat hair because that's usually the type of um goat hair that's used for foundation brushes or for brushes that you really need to buff out and shear out stuff on the face now um what i see here is that the length of the goat hair on this brush from kuyudo uh, is like i think it's layered wherein you have shorter bristles here at the base and then it like you know it has a different length as it like you know combines with the uh, synthetic fibers here of this brush so it's actually also very different it's it has a round shape design here and of course this is more compact but as you guys can see this has a very very airy um brush head in comparison to sonia g's um brush head here so again this will give me more control because i would actually use this for liquid like you know contouring products or some cream bronzers and again i would need to like you know, really work hard 
with this brush and those types of products because it's not as like you know compact as you guys can see here although there's a very nice strength to the belly here it's not as strong and as stable as Sonya G's fusion sheer buffer brush like you know um I haven't used this much in quite some time because again the bristles here are just way too long the same way that it's like you know almost the same length as this very old Mac 187 as you guys can see how old it is look at that I think this is the glue that's actually coming out of the brush head here yeah so um, at least what I like about this is actually um, like, you know shorter than the Mac 187 so at least also like you know the bristle here is more compact so at least I can use this brush for like, you know, a much more targeted kind of application on the face. But I don't know if I will continue to use these brushes now that I have this, because I think this might be the brush that I have been waiting for, wherein, and again, it's round and it's used for buffing and shearing out products on the face and the synthetic fibers here are actually shorter. So at least it can give you more control in the product that you're applying on the face. Because these two, I really had to work hard to shear out or apply product on the face effectively. Okay, and one other thing. So let me just like, you know, briefly compare the smooth buffer to the base one. And the base one, unfortunately, is being retired and it will be no longer produced as per Sonya G's vlog post which is actually kind of sad because i actually like this brush immensely especially when i'm working with very hard to work liquid foundations but anyway so the reason why i am like putting these two together is because um both of these brushes use synthetic fibers and sokoho goat hair so um in me saying that at least we know that the sheer buffer here will actually be very good to use for like you know very difficult to work with products like you know very, some heavier liquid foundations or even like you know cream foundations cream blushes cream bronzers yada 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 because i also use this brush for um, those types of products as well now of course we can just see how very different the bristles are here because after all the base one here is more compact while this one is more airy so again sheer application a much more compact application of color uh, so sad to see the base one retire from Sonia's line oh and by the way this is how the sheer buffer looks like beside the smooth buffer so again the handles here are very different I just think that the sheer buffer here is just a little bit that thicker than the smooth buffer handle and um, as you guys can see the brush heads here the designs are almost the same circular but there's just a difference in density between brush heads here and of course as you guys can see I'm just running my fingers there the sheer buffer brush here is more airy than the smooth buffer here so of course we now know that they serve very differently now um, also one other thing um, I could say is that if I just um, put them side by side we can see that the length of the sheer buffer here is just a little bit tad longer than the smooth buffer and of course um, the smooth buffer here um, they almost like you know bloom in the same way but this is just a tad longer and airier in comparison to this of course they're still around they're still around so actually they're very nice like you know pairing uh, towards each other so let me just put the sheer buffer here this is the smooth buffer and this is the buffer pro so at least like you know now that all of Sonia's buffer brushes are lined up we can see some similarities and difference and of course like you know it really depends which brush you want to choose depending on what type of makeup application that you use on yourself but I believe this is a very nice addition into her line because of course this belongs to the fusion series of her brushes so at least like you know as an avid user of sheer brushes um, it just adds a much more nicer dimension into your makeup application process especially if you're a fan of Sonia G's brush range all right so now we're going to try the fusion sheer buffer and like you know if you actually read Sonia G's blog post about this release um she actually stated there that this brush was actually designed to use for cream bronzers and i do understand why mainly because like you know with cream bronzers um you have to be very careful with them because you have to build to the intensity so that you just have that right like you know amount of bronzer or bronzer in your face because um like you know sometimes overdoing your bronzers doesn't really work 
nicely on the face. So um, I totally understand where she's getting with with this brush. Anywho, so at this part of this video, I'm so excited because I'm going to be trying out two new products. So this is the uh, Levage um, Healthy Glow Cream Bronzer in 390, so Lale Tan from Chanel. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently buff the brush all over the product here. Now normally I would like you know use a spatula and um, remove uh, the product from the cream bronzer here but I just wanted to see how well it will pick up product like you know straight from the packaging and I could actually see here that it's actually picking up a generous amount of product so let's try. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap this into my cheek and maybe here into my forehead. I'm only going to um, apply this on one portion on my face at this time because I want to see how well this actually applies product. Okay, so I actually wasn't expecting this brush to pick up a ton of cream bronzer instantly. So I'm just going to shear that out. And I do have to say that I was actually able to shear out the product quite nicely. And it's actually able to apply a very nice even coloring on my skin. And also like on the first instance that I dabbed the bronzer onto my face, there was no streaking at all and I kind of love that. Hmm. Wow, look at that. So this is how even this brush applied the chanel cream bronzer oh this is actually very nice and very pretty okay so let me add more of that all over my face so i'm like you know not being very careful with this i'm just shearing everything out and adding some here into my neck into my ears and i do have to say that was actually very easy and it actually blended out quite nicely and it gave a very nice natural finish onto my skin so i was actually a little bit worried about that earlier because when i started pouncing the product like you know the chanel bronzer onto my face i was like oh i think this is like the wrong color or it was just like you know way too much but after like you know buffing out the product we have this very nice even like you know sun-kissed look on my skin and by the way i'm shooting under natural light today so this is how it really looks like on my skin. Oh, this is actually a very lovely bronzer, I have to say. Oh, I love it. Okay, and in tandem with the brush, they work well together. Amazing, 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 amazing. Now, I initially wanted to see if I could contour using the sheer buffer brush from Sonia G and actually took out this cream bronzer from Fenty Beauty and this is in the color Chocolate. And, you know, after doing this like in a bronzer application, like of applying the Healthy Glow Bronzer from Chanel. I don't think that's going to be a success because if you want to contour your face or even like bronto your face, you need a brush that's actually like, you know, smaller than this and denser so that you can just have a much more precise application. So this brush will not do that for you. All this brush will do is it will give a very nice diffused color application of cream bronzers all over your face. So it's an all over type of application of bronzer, not specific, okay? So while we are in the vein of cream products, what I want to do is I actually want to see and try out using the sheer buffer with my MAC um, full coverage foundation. So this is like a cream foundation and this is a very opaque kind of coverage application on the face. So um, I have actually, like you know, applied and mixed some colors here on my palette and with my sheer buffer brush I'm just going to try to see and like you know pick up some of the product here and let's just try to see if this will apply nicely oh I wasn't expecting that it's very sheer and then like you know the application process was actually very easy and it was actually very fast can you guys see how sheer that was but there was like an enough amount of like you know product applied on my face that it was actually able to like you know even like 
bring down the tone of my beard a little bit. Okay, let me try doing it in a patting manner. Let me shave that out. Hmm. Okay. Wow. I was actually very surprised by that. I was not expecting this brush to apply cream um, foundation this easily because mainly based on my previous experiences before like example this is my MAC 187 and let me just pick up some of that here and let me just do that so I think you guys can see already I don't think you can see it anyway but um, here on my mirror I can see that there was like it's a little bit streaky so um, I would really need to buff this out more and I would have to press the brush more because like, you know the bristles here are just way too long so um, it kind of like eats up in your makeup process especially if you are like you know rushing yeah so it's still a little bit streaky so I actually don't see that here with the fusion sheer buffer with this one you can actually I can see it here in the mirror that it's actually quite streaky so and also that's the main reason why I don't really use this anymore, especially like you know with liquid foundations or sometimes with cream foundations, because it leaves a mark. And I would really have to either like get another brush to buff it out. Like I would use like a sponge just so that I could like press it so that I can remove like you know the streaky um, appearance that the brush has made um, into my face. Ooh, I'm actually quite bronzed right now. It's actually very pretty. So of course, yeah, I just used the sheer buffer and I have to say that the sheer buffer helped very well in actually removing the streaky lines that was made using the MAC 187 brush. And I like this brush for that because at least like, you know, if I have a liquid foundation or if I'm using a foundation and I just want to sheer it out or if I want to mix it well into the skin, I think this is a good brush to use for that instead of like a sponge. And by the way, the brush is very soft. Like, you know, when I'm just like, you know, dancing it here all over my face, I don't feel any pricking sensation. Like, you know, but I do feel the strength of the brush, I have to say. It's really able to, like, you know, drag some of the cream products around your face. It's also actually able to shear it out, which I actually love. Hmm. And it's actually helping to create a very nice even finish all over. And mind you, this is a very opaque and thick cream foundation from MAC. So I'm actually quite surprised how sheer it actually looks on my skin right now. Huh. Fantastic. Lovely. I love the effect that this brush created on my skin. Okay, so let's try another cream product. And this is a cream blush stick. And what I want to do is I want to see how well this brush will apply if there's already like you know cream product on your cheeks so well i do have to say that was very easy and like you know because the way sonia g actually like you know um said in her blog post is that you can actually like you know um, press the blush into the bristles and then you can apply it on your cheek so that you can get a very nice diffuse color but i do have to say just by like you know applying the stick straight into your cheek you can actually blend the product out quite nicely ah this is actually very nice very diffuse very well blended okay so now i'm just brushing the brush on the bullet here okay so there's a slight difference now that i can see wherein if you actually pick up the blush straight from the stick you can actually have a much more vibrant application of color instead of applying it directly onto the skin and then buffing it from there because i don't understand why mainly because you're also buffing out the um, foundation that you have under it so i think if you want to have a much more like you know vibrant application of color you have to pick up the blush straight from the stick and apply it onto your cheeks very nice and very diffused very easy so let me try to see if i can build that here Hmm. Let's pick up some more. There you go. I guess you guys can see already how well and how diffused that blush color actually looks like. Ah, huh. very, very pretty. I like that. Hmm. All right. Look at that. 
very nice and very diffuse and very easy and you're able to apply and diffuse like you know products in no time using the Sonia G sheer buffer brush because after all that's the Sonia G trademark where it helps you to apply and blend out products on your face effortlessly and easily okay so let me just buff out the brush here on a microfiber towel and what I want to do next is I actually want to try a gel blush so this is the cloud paint from um, Glossier and this is in the color haze so I place a little bit of it here on my palette and I'm just going to pick up some of that and I'm just going to tap it on top of the cream blush that I used well, I can see that it's already intensifying the color quite nicely and I can also see that it's not disturbing the cream blush under because sometimes there are some brushes if you layer you know two different types of products on top of each other they sometimes like you know get disturbed and you don't really get to see that when using the sheer buffer oh, which is actually great like, you know, because there are some blush colors that you like that are in cream form and there are some that are in gel form and sometimes you just want to layer them and I have noticed that you know sometimes if I use my finger lifting happens and you get a lot of like you know spots in your cream blush or your or in your gel blush but I do have to say that this brush can really help you to layer your cream and gel blush products which is actually great mm, very pretty look at that how how very sheer but you still have this very nice vibrant color going on in your skin okay so this is how the sheer buffer applies cream products on my face you know so i have a cream bronzer i have a cream foundation i have a cream blush and i have a gel blush on top of each other so this is a lot of product already but it doesn't look thick on my face i have to say so i'm bring my face closer everything looks diffused very well balanced and also very nice like you know application of product and layering of products on my skin ah oh, this is actually quite a surprise I love this oh I have to be careful because it's the last product that I placed on my skin was actually blush now I do have to say like you know it was very easy to apply all of these cream products in a very nice sheer manner so mm. I'm actually very surprised so if you're someone who's always on the go and you want to apply a much more sheer amount of color using more like you know opaque and thicker formulas I think this brush will work for you uh, just make sure that you have doubles or even triples because um, just make sure that you don't use one brush to apply all of your products because it can get muddy instantly so not unless if you have a like you know microfiber towel where you can remove any excess um, product that you have been using do that before you actually go on and apply a different type of product in itself or a different formula of product in itself okay so let me just continue to buff more of the cream products out of the brush all right so I'm just gonna add a little bit of some setting powder on top of all of these cream products because I want to try to see how well the sheer buffer will work with some of my like you know powder blushes so we'll get into that a little bit later so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pour a little bit of this number four shade from the Givenchy Prism Libre setting powder I just recently reviewed this so I'm going to put a link down on my description box so you can go and check it out and I'm just going to apply this all over look at that look how very nice and soft focus this powder applies on the face okay so that's powder down so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get my loose setting powder from Laura Mercier ah, this is not it hang on all right so here it is so let me just get a little bit of this and then I'm just gonna dip my sheer buffer on top of it so this is like a quick um, cleaning technique that I have learned from Jaybird walking wherein you pick up your brush and dip it on some loose powder and then you just buff it into your microfiber towel and this kind of like just really helps to 
clean out your brush head especially if you just want to use it instantly okay so the first thing that i would like to try using this brush with is my guerlain meteorite so this is in golden land so this is a limited edition meteorite um this is no longer available so and the reason why is because look how beautiful the golden land is it smells amazing so i'm just going to dip the brush here and i believe i'm able to pick up some of the product here and let's just try to see if this will apply color yes it does and the main reason why i know this is happening is because the golden land meteorites here has some red pigments in it so this just kind of like enhances like you know the cream bronzer that i put below earlier and also the pinky tones of the um, blushes that i used so just like really enhance it and it doesn't really disturb the cream products under which i actually like oh look at that so let me pick up a little bit more and maybe just add a little bit of that here in my forehead area just so that we have a nice hint of warmth there oh so it kind of like does the job it's a much more sheer application of color and that's also the reason why i decided to use this because this has red pigments in it and sometimes if you use a very dense brush and then you apply it um sometimes it gets intense instantly so at least with the sheer buffer you can actually build up to the intensity that you want okay so let me just set some of these parts here with some powder because i'm seeing a little bit of some shine so let me press it under again then let me use the smooth buffer now and then let me just press the powder here much better okay okay so i'm gonna move on to a pressed powder blush and what i'm gonna do first is i'm just going to buff out the cheek area and try to remove like you know the color and i'm just going to layer some of this powder just to tone down the color a little bit and the main reason why is because i actually want to try and use one of my most intense color blushes that i have in my collection and it's the nars exhibit a so i have it here but before i pick up the exhibit a with the sheer buffer i'm gonna dry clean the brush again and i'm gonna buff it into this microfiber towel and let me just press lightly i know the color of this is actually very scary because it's quite intense and sometimes when i want to use that color i use the areas brush that i have in my collection so that i can get a very nice like you know flush of color and look at that very diffuse nice balance of color and mind you i'm just pressing the brush very lightly okay so this is how much of the first impact of color applies on my cheeks using the sheer buffer so and this is how it applies when there's no product left so let me build on this intensity a little bit so let me pick up more so i'm just like you know very lightly tapping it into the blush and again i'm just building up the intensity here so that we have a very nice balance of color look at that very easy and also very sheer which is actually amazing i do have to say and again there's no streaking because like you know if i used like let me say let me get my other um mac 187 so i have three of these i have one more there so let me press this and pick up the color and let me apply it on my cheeks so as you guys can see the impact side of the blush is very precise and if you want to shear that out you have to really like work hard just to buff it out while with Sonia G's brush very effortless 
And upon first impact, you don't have a very concentrated amount of color, but you already have a very sheer color application of your cheeks instantly. And it's actually much more easier to blend out, I have to say. Okay, blend, 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 blend. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to stop applying blush because I think I'm going to be getting into the padam padam um, <laughs> area of blush application, if you know what I mean. Okay, so before we end this vlog for today, I actually want to try one more other product. So let me just remove some of this from my cheeks. Okay, let me just pat that out. Okay, let me get my sheer buffer and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of some foundation and I'm just going to cover that part again. Okay, fantastic. Now what I want to do is I actually want to try and see how well the brush is going to blend out some liquid blush. So let me just squirt a little bit of this here at the back of my hand and let me just blend it. And let me just apply that on my cheeks. Oh, and just like that, it actually applied a very nice sheer amount of color. But then again, this is in the color Orgasm. So it's a warm tone blush and I have some warm undertones of my skin. So this is actually going to look very natural on me at the moment. But if you guys take a look at that, you can actually see how sheer this brush applied the liquid product so in doing this um, I have to say that I do appreciate the strength of the brush head so again because you know cream foundations cream blushes liquid blushes are actually like you know very difficult to like you know blend out especially if you're using the wrong brush you get streaking things like that like what happened earlier with the MAC 187 but so far with this sheer buffer brush from Sonia G. I didn't experience any form of like you know streaking at all and I have to say like the application process was actually very easy and like you know very instant and you don't really need to work hard to get this type of an intensity on your skin. Oh that's actually very nice very beautiful. That's actually quite lovely. Well so at least like you know you can use this in tandem with your other makeup brushes, especially from Sonia G if you've been collecting a lot of her um, like, you know, makeup brushes. Uh, but I do have to say that it actually like, you know, the sheer buffer brush, it actually like, you know, works very differently from the other brushes from her Fusion series. Because her Fusion series, they don't actually like, you know, give out this diffused um, color application upon impact. So it's more like, you know, precise. It's more... Um, detailed well this one is more diffused and softer so again you can just like you know adjust to what kind of makeup application that you want on yourself depending on the brushes that you have in your collection so in me saying that do you think uh, you need to have the sheer buffer in your collection well it really is up to you because again as I've said it really depends on the type of makeup application that you want on your face especially the type of finish that you want to achieve on your face so if you want it smooth sheer and you are able to blend it out in no time this brush is for you but if you want to have a much more like you know high impact of color more precise then get the other brushes from her fusion series like you know the classic cheek um the mini cheek those brushes they will actually work for you and you have a much more like you know precise impact of color on your cheeks all right so i believe that's my vlog for today so i hope you guys enjoyed getting to know the sonia g fusion sheer buffer brush with me and basically this is how i plan to use this brush now um i'm sure i can use this for powder blushes but i'm not going to be doing that because i have other brushes for those types of products so primarily all creams and liquids it's gonna be this baby now so I'm so happy to say that I can finally retire my MAC 187 because this has been on my brush kit for a very long time and like you know um, truthfully it has already like you know stayed way beyond its a use by date because it's just been around for so long and this hasn't been made anymore in like a very long time so i'm so happy that this is actually like you know released in the market 
and it can be a very nice replacement to my other buffing brushes that I have in my collection, especially the ones that I use for like, you know, cream and liquid products. All right, so I believe that's it for me today. So if you guys have any more questions about all the products that I am using or any more questions about the sheer buffer brush, please let me know down in the comments box and let's have a conversation about it. All right, so I'm gonna let you guys go now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here and hope that you're having a good day wherever you are. Bye.